Hi all, this is Skate, and this is a video I recorded a while ago, but I forgot I recorded it, and, well, once I found it, I decided to share it. So what are we looking at? Obviously it's an AT7, and based on the amount of shells at the bottom of the screen, it's an auto-loading AT7. It's an auto-loading AT7, which does 90 damage per shot, and it has 10 shells. And there's only 1.1 second between each of those shells. And this is the completely stock gun on this tank. However, you'll never play with this gun because you unlock the higher gun on the 88. So most people don't know this gun exists. In fact, a lot of people don't know this gun exists. So, why am I playing with it? Well, <laughs> for a little bit of a personal challenge and a little bit of fun. And obviously there's a bit of stupidity there. Now one of the beauties of autoloaders is this. Ready? Look at that. <laughs> Constantly putting a shell so quick into someone's ammo rack, ah, you've got a good chance of making it go pop. I'd also be willing to put money on the fact that that T-69 never expected that many shells to come out of my tank in a million years. Because nobody expects to see this gun. In fact, most people don't see this gun, ever. Watch the little dance on the go here. We're sided up against each other so he can't shoot me, but I can't shoot him. Also, we're now using him to block the, the IS-3. And we're now putting shells into the side of this tank. And you can see we're putting those shells in at one hell of a rate. Here's the downside to this gun. It has really, really bad penetration. In fact, it has 110 millimeters of penetration. And with the premium ammo, it has 180. So the premium, that's not really a big deal. It's not a concern. But 110 on the standard is not the greatest. Also, once I've unloaded that 10 shot clip, I've only got 13.3 seconds to go until I've reloaded the next 10 shells. And the reason I was playing it is just a personal challenge. I set myself stupid personal challenges. My personal goal was to give myself 10 games, and within those 10 games I want to master this tank with this gun. <laughs> not... Yeah, I know it's stupid. But look at it from this perspective. I, if I can make this gun on the 87 work for me, I can make any of the other guns on the 87 work a damn sight better. But silly little personal missions like this, I mean, me and me, me and Meadzy, uh, we'd play the Panther with the 10.5 and we'd give ourselves silly missions of Master and that. It's fun. Um, or driving around with just HE in the um, Black Dog. Or just HE in things like the Grill. It makes it a bit more challenging and... Yeah, to a degree you could say it impacts your stats, but also, like I said, if you can make it work in that circumstance, you're challenging yourself, and in that way you could even argue that you're improving because of that. Also, it's a 10-shot autoloader. We don't have these in Blitz, not a proper one anyway. So it's kind of fun to actually play the proper autoloading crazy... I mean, watch this. We got his track. Took his track back. We're just gonna keep unloading into him every single shell. <laughs> That's what an auto loader is all about. Oh, check out this. Did you see that? I'm gonna clip and do that bit again. You ready? Watch the KV2 put a shell into the SP1C. <laughs> I just want a lucky SP1C. But also, I can't imagine in a million years again, he was expecting me to launch that many shells in that quick succession. You'd be surprised how many people don't know this gun exists in the slightest. And he's come back for more, even though he knows full well from the last time he popped out in front of me that I can put a lot of shells into him very, very quickly. Yeah, it's a fun gun even though it's stupid, and even though it only has 110 millimeters of penetration. I do enjoy... I enjoyed this challenge. In fact, I'm gonna say I failed in regards to I didn't get my mastery with this gun in 10 games. So I think I may do it again soon. Now to confirm, I'm not saying go out and strap this gun to an 87. The 
Top Gun is way better than this by a very, very long margin. And I do mean a very long margin. In perspective and comparison, the Top Gun on the 87 has 2,555 DPM. Slap a rammer on it and you have 2,690. And 226 millimeters of penetration. That is a fantastic amount of penetration at tier seven. The 110 mil of penetration on this auto-loading little thing sucks. But it does have 2,336 DPM, which isn't half bad. And 1.1 second between each shell, you're pumping 900 in one clip into somebody. But that's not the part I enjoy. The part I enjoy is just unloading into something and just watching them panic not knowing what the hell sort of gun you got on this thing. And have you seen any other tanking game with a reasonable size gun with that many shells on the screen? If anything, playing this just made me want more proper autoloaders in Blitz, not three shot. Give me something, and I don't mean like a little chain gun from low tiers, little machine guns. I mean things like this. I mean, we're doing 90 damage a shot. We're not now, because I have to fire premium to go to the lower plate of a Tiger P. So we're only doing 65 per shot on average. But still, I've enjoyed it. And even though I've had to fire a fair bit of premium to go through, I didn't lose any credits. Because the shells are so cheap. Um, that was a first. So this was one of the ones where I was really close to getting that mastery with this stupid gun. This one, I think it was even closer. I just missed out. <laughs> but it was also exciting or fun gameplay to watch on this one. So although I failed in my personal little challenge of get a mastery with this stupid gun within 10 games, I thought, you know what, I'd still put the recording up even though I forgot about it for a while. Because it's interesting. And it's something a little bit different. And like I said, I imagine some people are watching this going, whoa, look at all those shells on the screen. Because a lot of people just don't know this gun exists because you never need to play it. And yeah, I get the argument that you could impact your stats, but also from the same perspective, who cares? You could argue from the same perspective, like I mentioned earlier, you're improving yourself by giving yourself challenges like this. You're also having more fun, just to confirm. More than anything, though, you've got to giggle at the fact of, you've got to wonder how many people are panicking like hell wondering what in god's name is shooting at them like that so damn quickly now i've just <laughs> received one hell of a lot of hits and i lost a lot of hit points but i bounced a lot at the same time but i lost too much hit points that was a very bad trade on my behalf so we are instantly off to a bad start that's my fault I didn't play the 87 correctly, and there was no reason why I couldn't have. I was next to a building. I could have parked all of it except the gun next to the building. And this thing would be an absolute monster in that circumstance. So we are at a bit of a loss here. I've lost a lot of hit points. On top of that, we've already lost somebody from our team, and they are pushing this side. And I'm kind of alone over here so far. But the lightly armoured tanks come to pop over and say hello is... To my advantage with the penetration on this gun. And again, I imagine this AMX did not expect me to be an autoloader at the same time. But I sacrificed way too many hit points, and now I'm pretty much a one shot. So bad play by me, but now I need to use this tank in every single circumstance I can to its strengths, which is basically hide the weak spot on top using the build in there, and because I can't hide it against that guy. I am going to have to wiggle like hell when he comes out trying to get his shots on it. Well, no, I don't, because he's dead. But when we were shooting up against the MT-25, you can see that the big old hatch on top is completely hidden from him. And I'm not keeping still anymore. I'm going to wiggle constantly or hide the hatch as best I can constantly. But we are still losing this one. We've only got four tanks left. They've got five, but I am a one shot and it's just not looking healthy or good. But if I continue to sit by here doing nothing, just worried about what health I do have left, we are gonna lose it to be fair. 
So I need to do more to help the team, even if that potentially means dying. I just need to do something to help out. Now, if I can get myself into strong positions to protect myself while unloading, say, for example, my entire clip into something, so if just my gun was poking around or I played this thing at range like this, in theory, I can do as much as I can, as quick as I can, while I'm still alive, to help out. And again, can't imagine this guy was expecting me to put this many shells into him. And if he just stayed there for like a split second more, I would have had my last shell in. And we're now three on three. And they have two critically low health tanks. We're now two on three. And they have one critically low tank. But they have a full health tiger. And you can see exactly what that tiger's do, doing. He's rushing straight in for the kill. And he is going to get it. I'm on a big reload. There's nothing I can do to help. And if I just go waltzing on down in the wide open... There's nothing I'll be able to do to help either, because that big weak spot on top is going to become more apparent than my gun will, and more obvious to hit by the time I get over to him. So the only thing left for me to do is support this Nashorn from this position, and do as much as I can to help him. So he is rushing on the Nashorn, as you would, you give it a love tap, and then one more shot, and the Nashorn's dead. But I have an autoloader. Which means I can keep this guy perma-tracked while unloading an entire big nasty clip into him. He had no hope. <laughs> and this is the closest I came to mastering this gun. Sorry, this tank with this gun. Also, look. Look at my medals. In an 87, <laughs> I got patrol duty and scout and a steel wall. I spotted all seven of the enemies. In all fairness, they all shot into me right at the very start. But I was so close to getting my mastery on this one. A mastery in an 87 is surprisingly simplistic with the top gun. I think people hate these sort of tanks, don't they? Um, well, the higher percentage hate them. You've got the small minority like myself that absolutely love the AT line. But yeah, because of that, the bar is really low. I mean, you're talking... 3,000 something damage and you could probably get yourself your mastery in the 87. Also, here's another little bit of food for thought. Tier 7 tank destroyers have 253 meters of view range. Well, the majority do. When you fit an autoloader to this tank, you can't fit a rammer. You can fit vents, and at that point, you can improve your view range to 259 by using the vents with this autoloader. So you're improving your view range ever so slightly which 87 does have surprisingly good camo. So it means you've got that little bit more extra edge. It's almost like, well, you've got really, really bad penetration, so kind of balance it with a bit more view range. Also, the gun's lighter, so you get a bit more mobility as well. Bit better power to weight ratio. All in all, we all love improving our stats. It makes us feel better, it makes us more competent players, and the more competent you are, I think, the more you enjoy the game. But that's the thing, is it is a game still, so doing things like that does also help you improve, but it's a challenge. It's a personal challenge, and it's a fun challenge as well. You'll have a laugh doing that. So yeah, today's video a little bit random, but I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.